the greatest American alive. This is the most powerful message of 2022. This is probably the most powerful message that you'll ever hear in your entire life. This is about power and how to get some power in America. There is no political system in America that represents the economically challenged or the politically disenfranchised. That party does not exist. There is no political party in America that represents you, the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. Once we come to the realization that the Democratic Party and Republican Party do not represent anyone that makes less than $42,000 a year, once we come to the realization that the Democratic and Republican parties are both monopolies and they hold the American lives in the balance based on their ideas and their ideology, and they're not fighting for the greatest American life. They're not doing it. And so for the year of 2022, this is the year of political liberation. This is the year when American people understand that politics is a billion dollar industry, a multi-billion dollar industry. And the Democrats and the Republicans, they have a stranglehold over all this money. And now, how do we get some power in America? Tell the truth and get some power. You have to tell the truth to get some power, yes? Talk about your economic situation. Create a political party that represents your ideology. Story time, Project Daddy was sitting in prison, yes? And as I was sitting in prison, you know, there's lots of racial tension. So I'm talking to some guys from the Aryan Brotherhood and they're talking about their political affiliations and their political ideology. And so Project Daddy just started to have a conversation about economics because you see these white boys, they came from a, a challenged background. Yes, they mama was poor, they daddy was poor. And so I asked them, can you please stop looking at life from the angle of race and can you look at it from economics? And so as we started having a conversation about economics and about how they didn't have any jobs in the towns in which they came from and how they needed infrastructure. And if they had infrastructure, then, maybe, then perhaps they wouldn't have been making and selling meth. And so as we had this conversation, the Aryan Brotherhood and me, I'm non-affiliated. I don't have any gang ties. As we came to a conclusion, we said, how about you and I, Aryan Brotherhood and me, black man, why don't we create the Panda Party? Panda, 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 Panda. Why don't we create the Panda Party in which black people and white people unite based on the economic power that we have as working class people? That was just some shit talking sitting in prison, yes? I believe that white workers have been struggling. They're some of the most violent people in the world. I believe that what they need is they need a redirection in their ideology and in their politics. They need to know who to struggle against. The workers need to start to begin to learn that their job is to struggle against the bosses. And until they do this, then struggle is incorrect. It's like no struggle at all. We said that if you don't struggle correctly, you shouldn't struggle. But you should struggle. We said dare to struggle and you dare to win. Dare not to struggle and you don't deserve to win. But we have to struggle properly. Now, in this climate of racial division, I'm 36 years old and I've never seen so much tension in America in my life. This is absolutely positively nasty. I can't remember the last time a person called me a nigger, not to my face. I'm talking about overt racism directly to me, spitting on me, treating me nasty, covert things like I can't control a person's thought. I know this is nasty, but even if you came to me, if I didn't like you, you wouldn't know that I didn't like you. And I'm, I might not like you for a number of different reasons. Your breath might stink and that might really bother me because you're talking to me and that, that stuff is really messing up my concentration and my focus. Let's have honest conversations. Throughout life, we're always going to find people that we don't like for whatever insignificant reason. And I'm not going to talk about insignificant reasons. I'm going to talk about one thing. And the one thing that matters in America is economic and political power. That's it. You get economic power through political power because lawyers write the laws in which we abide by as we do business, as we do education. And so now for 2022, since 2022 is going to be the year of economic and political liberation, once you start your political party, Panda, 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 Panda. Once you start the Panda Party or whatever party that you want to stand for to represent your ideology, then oh my goodness, man. 2022 is going to be the greatest renaissance America has ever seen because new ideas will permeate our culture because we're going to start talking different. Once we have political affiliation, once we have our own political organizations, now we're going to start having freedom talk. And now once we start having freedom talk, America starts to look different. Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, they can no longer control the ideas of the American person. I'd have to say that it was the establishment press that is nothing but a tool of Warden Nixon's uh, machine. We call him Warden Nixon because the whole world is a penitentiary and he's just a warden of the whole world. And you see, these people are just an arm that he uses for fascist oppression, you know. And I think today these fascist uh, news media might have did that because we have our own political affiliations. We have our own political organizations. The Democratic and Republican parties do not represent the working class person. They do not represent the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. 
And since there is no viable third option, it's time for the American person to get some power. It's time for the digital freedom fighter. Listen here, man. You have the power to elect any person that you want. Using your Twitter, using your Instagram, you can promote whatever candidate that you want to run for president. Yay, 2024. Yay, 2024. Let's go. You can promote whatever candidate that you want to run for president. Yay, 2024. Yay, 2024. Let's go. Using the most powerful tools the world has ever seen, we can get whomever we want elected. We can have the first internet elected president in the history of America. We can do that. That's the power of the American citizen if you start thinking creatively. This is the most powerful message of 2022. I'm telling you, this is the most powerful message of your life. This is about how to get freedom and power in America today using your voice. This is the message on how to get freedom in America. This is how to capture real power. Tell the truth and get some power. Talk about your real life. Take the filters off and let the world see that there is poverty in America. Prison rules, listen to me, in prison, we're going to abide by prison rules. In prison, you will either respect me or you will fight me. That's it. You will either respect me or you will fight me. And that's it. Now, American people, you, the greatest American alive, our conversation with all of our elected representatives is you will either respect me or you will fight me. And I'm going to fight you economically and politically. I don't have to be part of your organizations no more. I don't have to be a Democrat. I don't have to be Republican. I am a free person. I participate in the Panda Party. Panda, Panda, Panda. I can do whatever I want. I'm free. I'm the most powerful citizen the world has ever seen. The Democratic and Republican parties are a monopoly, and the era of the two-party system is dead. That time has come and gone. The, the digital freedom fighter is here. It's your time. This is the era of heroes and Project Daddy is so excited because I'm about to see the most amazing thing the world has ever seen when the working class people take power of their nation. Goodness gracious, it's the American Revolution and there will not be a shot fired. We're an organization that understands that politics is nothing but war without bloodshed and war is nothing but politics with bloodshed. That it's just like you stretch something and it goes, you can stretch things, they're going to be in another thing. If you stretch politics, Politics so long it'll be war and that's where we at there will be no war this is a mental war and we're fighting the battle using our economic power I'm no longer going to work for a company that's not going to negotiate my value with me we're going to have heroes from every industry giving us the secrets of the industry and how they institutions are taking advantage of the American person it's freedom time y'all this is a time of freedom it's a time of power it's time to get excited you are the greatest American alive the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.